Hi there, my name is Karen Jones, Content Editor for the Society of Technical Analysts. This morning we're going to have another look at the gold market. We last looked at this at the end of May and it's about time we did an update. At the time we felt that it was going to fall up here and that's exactly what we've seen. However, you will notice that the recent low, which comes in around 1893, was accompanied by a divergence of the daily RSI. So we're just going to take a, a look at this to see if we, what sort of bounce we're likely to see from here. So let's have a look at our weekly chart. And I think it is quite clear that the market has paused at a fairly significant uh, level of support. Not only was it the high that we saw back in May of 2021, but it was also, if we zoom in, the higher that we saw back in 2011. So the market does seem to have found a, a reasonably good level of support. And you will notice in addition, this is also the approximate 38.2% retracement of the entire move up from the low we saw in September 2022 to the peak that we saw in May 23. And that's where we're currently holding so seeing a bit of a corrective rebound here so where are we likely to extend to the previous levels of support which are now likely to act as resistance coming at 1960 which was the high in february 23 uh, the important level is probably going to be this 1983 high that's the last reaction high uh, coming in at the beginning of june We've also got the 55 day moving average coming in at 1970. So uh, to my mind, this corrective move is likely to be held by the 55 day moving average and this high here. Let's just put on some Fibonacci retracements. And you can see as well that the Fibonacci retracements interact quite well with those levels of resistance, reinforcing resistance around there. So uh, 1935, the 23.6% retracement is going to be your first level, followed by 1960, the 55 day moving average coming in at 1970. And lastly, 1983 is the high from June and we would look for this area to contain the corrective rebound.